Welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making an Oreo dirt cake. This is a no-bake dessert. So I bought two packages of Oreo cookies. These are 13.29 ounces. And you're going to use one whole package and two rows. They have three rows in them. Use two, ro two rows. And you need to twist all of the cookies open and scrape off the cream inside and get as much of it as you can. So you'll have your cream in one bowl and your cookies in another bowl. Once you have the cookies all separated from the cream, I'm going to put them in my Vitamix and crush, crunch them up. If you don't have a Vitamix, you could put them in a plastic bag and hit them with a hammer or a rolling pin but you want them to be the consistency of ground coffee. Okay, so that was half of the cookies and that's the consistency that you want is just like ground coffee. I'm gonna do the other half. Once you have your cookies all crumbled, set those aside. And then I'm going to add one stick of unsalted butter that I've softened a little bit in the microwave. You want it to be about room temperature. I'm going to add that to my stand mixer. And then I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese. Going to add that to the butter. And I'm just going to mix that for about a minute, just until it's creamy. Once that's all creamy, I'm going to add one cup of confectionery or powdered sugar. And the inside of the Oreo cookies. And mix that for a minute or two until everything is combined. Once that's all creamy, I'm just going to put that in a separate bowl because we're going to need the stand mixer for our pudding mixture. Okay, we have a clean bowl. And to this bowl, I'm going to add two packages of Jell-O Instant Vanilla Pudding. These are each 3.4 ounces, and I'm going to use two. And to that, I'm going to add three cups of cold whole milk. That's two. And three. And I'm going to whisk that all together. I'm probably going to let this go for about two minutes. 
Once the pudding starts to thicken, you want to add your Cool Whip. And this is a 16 ounce container of Cool Whip. I only need 12 ounces, so I'm not going to use this whole thing. There'll be enough left over to put it on top of the cake if you wanted to. And again, mix that until it's well combined. Okay, once that's all smooth, we're going to add the cream cheese, butter, sugar, Oreo cookie center mixture into this. And make sure you get it all in there. And once again, mix that. All right, once that is all mixed together, we're going to take the Oreo cookies and just put enough in here to cover the bottom of the pan. You don't want a real heavy layer. You can just put a very light layer. I'm just going to push it around with my fingers. And just kind of pat it down. Once you've got all the holes filled in, we're going to take the cream mixture and just put it, dump it on there, and we'll smooth it out afterwards so that it's all even. Okay, once you get it all in there, just smooth it out as evenly as you can. Just try not to disturb the chocolate underneath. Once that's all even, we're just going to take the Oreo cookie crumbs and sprinkle those over the top. And you just want to smooth those out so that there's no pudding mixture showing. Okay, once you have that all even, you need to put this in the refrigerator for at least four hours to let the pudding set up. 
I'll be back when we cut it to show you what it looks like. Okay, it's been about five hours and our cake is done. I cut into it. You may have to use a spoon to get this out. I'm going to try it with a spatula. Especially the first piece. And if you have little kids, you could put some gummy worms like they're coming out of the sand. This is super easy to make. The hardest part is taking apart the Oreos and getting the cream out. I hope you give it a try. Please like, share, and subscribe as that does help out our channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join us on the next one.